Good day, everyone. My name is Judaya Aban. I'm Emil Kabantak. I'm David Langdon Tokan. And I'm Desert Pagat. We are forensic science students of the University of the Cordillera, College of Criminal Justice Education. And we are here to present to you our thesis. So to start, to start with, let me share to you our screen. So our thesis is entitled, Determining the Applicability of the ADI or Genesis Program in Value C. So to start with, our uh, presentation for you for today includes the following. We will start with the introduction. Our introduction is composed of the background of our study and the objective and importance of our study as well, followed by the methodology. The methodology is uh, composed of the population and the color of our study, the data gathering procedure and data gathering tool, and the treatment of data. Next to that is the results and analysis of our data, and uh, finally, the conclusion. Let me start with the introduction. Do you have any idea about what adding or removing this program is all about? Let me share with you the background of our study. So officially, the adding or generic police program was planned and developed by the Philippine National Police for League Station, um, which is located in Mountain Province. So they started the program on September 2016. So what happens within the program? So in the program, the Philippine National Police encourages the youth of the said um, community to join the different activities and trainings that they have. So they have leader leadership trainings, they have seminars on illegal drugs, they have uh, peace and order trainings or seminars, they have arrest techniques and other practical exercises. So what are those other practical exercises? An example would be uh, the river crossing, the, the tree planting activity, as well as the first aid training. So why do the Philippine National Police of that station did it? Because they want the youths to assist them in maintaining the peace and order in the school and in the whole community as well. So according to the reports of the WCPD by League Station, by doing this, the crime rate decreased by 50%. So looking at that result, we would like uh, to determine its applicability in Bangkok. Why? Why? Because according to um, GEB 2015, um, the Cordillera Administrative Region um, has uh, 432 cases of child in conflict with adults. And Baguio City is the highest um, contributor to this which has 149 cases about child in conflict with law. So the youths are mostly involved in robbery, theft, physical injury, rape, estafa, and violation of the Comprehensive Drug Act. So um, I pass the floor to Ms. Jidaya Aban to discuss uh, the objectives of our study. So in our study, we have three objectives. The first one here is Minimizing the involvement of youths in crimes. Objective 2. Suggest the BCPO to adopt the adding or junior police program in the city as preventive means of youth's involvement in crimes. And in Objective 3. Boost the confidence and leadership skills of youths in Baguio City. And what is the importance of our study? So the study will give an idea to the different police stations in the Philippines on one way of minimizing or decreasing the number of crimes where youths are involved. And one means of maintaining good relationship between the youths and the police officers, as well as um, it helps to maintain peace and order in the community. So let us now move on to methodology. So on population and local, we, the researchers, use the judgment sampling in identifying the respondents of this research wherein we selected the best candidates to answer the research questions. And the respondents of this research are the head of the Women and Children Police Desk, 
in all 10 police station of Baguio City for a total of 10 professional respondents. Gathering. Survey questionnaire was used in this thesis to gather data in order to answer the research problem. There are certain steps that are followed in order to fulfill the gathering of data. The first step will be to identify the problem that can be faced during the collection of data and select the information that will be used in the interviews and surveys. The second step will focus on choosing the main issues or opportunities to collect the data and then setting goals and objectives on what part of the problem to focus first. The third step is to plan and determine what research members will be collecting the data and proceed to conduct the survey, surveys and interviews. The fourth step is passing the data. The fifth step is analyzing and interpreting the qualitative data. And lastly, the first, the sixth step is to report the results and discuss the fulfillment of the research goal. Next is treatment of data. The data acquired by the respondents were analyzed using thematic analysis. Thematic analysis is a method for analyzing qualitative data that entails searching across a data set to identify, analyze, and report repeated patterns. This is a method for describing data, but it also involves interpretation in the processes of selecting codes and constructing themes. The weighted theme, the weighted mean, for every theme was then computed. Results and analysis. Youth in, youth in Baguio City, Philippines can participate in a program to improve the relationship between the police. Responses for the passive, possible outcome of the program shows a very high and positive possibility. This implies that target activities can be implemented with this as possible outcome. First is the recruitment. School visitation and information dissemination campaigns. For example of this is collaboration between the different barangays and the police office to encourage both of youth, out of school youth and the youth as a whole to participate and be a member of the said program. Activities like tree planting and seminars and lectures. Possible outcomes are youth in the said program will start a good relationship between the police in Baguio. Program will lessen the number of youth involved in illegal drugs activities and related crimes. Trainings such as first aid, river crossing, and arrest techniques. T teaching the youth of Baguio City the different arrest techniques Tapping the Philippine Red Cross, Baguio Chapter for the first and coordinating with the DENR for the seedlings to be used in the tree planting activities field craft revival. Availability of resources, local government fundings and materials needed. Lastly is the conclusion. The results showed a descriptive value of very possible meaning the program has a high possibility of being implemented in Baguio City.